Fall Fun Fact. Did you know that frogs use hollow trees as megaphones? <laughs> well, now you know. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. Hi, welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry, Fall Time Edition. It's football week on Draw Time, so we're drawing things that have to do with American football. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a megaphone. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Okay, I'm going to start right here in the middle. And I want to start with the top of the megaphone. I'm going to make a curve up. And then put two curves here, on one on each side. And then a curve down. And this is the opening that you yell through. I'm going to make a curve, come up a little ways from the bottom edge here, make a curve going the same direction as this one below it. And then I make a curve up. And you can shade inside of that if you like. That's the opening that you yell through. A megaphone is what the cheerleaders use to amplify their voices so that the crowd can hear them as they cheer. And so they cheer on the team using the megaphone. Starts off narrow up here at the top and then gets wider as it goes down. And I'm going to go ahead and use a straight edge. Use a ruler to keep the lines straight and also help me get the right angles to balance it out. So I'll go down at an angle towards the right. And then I'm going to try to match that over here on the left side. I'm coming in a little ways from the edge, so there's a lip hanging over the edge. And then I try to match that angle opposite but equal, right across like that. Okay, next I'm going to make another curve that matches this one but down lower here. So I'm going to curve down. And around like that. And this top part, this is a metal rim here. We're going to make another metal one below. This would be probably some type of heavy cardboard. Um, or it could be plastic, I guess, but a heavy, heavy cardboard probably. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start above this curve on the end here and kind of wrap around it. Same thing on the other side. Start up above that line just a little bit and wrap around it. And then I'm going to make a line that follows the same, goes the same direction as this curve right here. Right underneath. And, and kind of the same width as this part up at the top. So just follow that all the way around and connect to the other side. Okay, next there's a seam here where this material is wrapped around and then bolted together. So I'm going to start coming in waves from the outside and then make it slant the same as this outside line. It might get a little wider at the bottom. Just like that. And then before we draw, we're going to draw some um, bolts here that connect those that together. I'm going to draw a handle. I'm going to come down about this far. And draw a line, a little bit of a curve at the top of it. It's going to slant down to the right. Then it's going to follow the same direction as this outside. And then it's going to slant back in and then go down again. So this is a, a handle. It, it comes out away from the megaphone so that you can put your hand in there and hold it. Okay, so we make a second line that follows the same direction as these first lines. You can make a little oval there that where it's riveted on. 
And then I want to make some more rivets going the same direction as these two right here. So I'm going to just make a little mark and kind of space it out all the way down. Okay, so here's the little marks I made. I can go back and make them just a little bit bigger. But these are the rivets that hold this together, hold the megaphone together. And I want to keep them in a line. I want to keep them lined up just like that. Okay, I can add some shading to this. And I'm going to try to make the same curve down. I'm using the edge of the pencil instead of the end. And I'm just curving back and forth. We'll go along the outside edge just a little bit to fill in. Of course, you could add whatever color you wanted to. Whatever team you're cheering for, you might use the colors of that team. By making this curved here, it also adds an extra dimension to it. It makes it look like it, it's rounded, like it comes out at us. You can go back and make some lines that curve down that way. Okay, I'm going to darken the outside edge. Also this seam right here. Okay, and for fun I want to add a few pom-poms, just a couple pom-poms here. So what I'm going to do is kind of make a central part for the pom-pom and make lines that curve around just like that. I'm going to put another one over here. And they're just kind of laying on the ground right next to the megaphone. Okay, now what I want to do is make it look like there's little pieces that come out so kind of triangular shapes that radiate, radiate out from the center. I want to make longer ones first. Go all the way out to the edge. And then I'm going to make another layer of, of shorter ones that overlap that. like that. Okay, then I can go back and maybe darken in every other one. Just kind of shade it in a little bit. Again, you could use team colors for this as well. Very kind of, just kind of sketchy. I'm going to do the same thing on the inner pieces here too. The main part of this whole thing is the megaphone, but I'm just adding this for just as an extra. I'm going to go around the outside edge and follow the contour. Like a darker line. So there's one. Now I'll do this other one the same way. Okay, another layer here on top. Okay, shade in every other one. And then the inside ones. And then go back around the contour. And darken that. Okay, clean up your drawing, get rid of any lines that you don't need, add color if you'd like, and this is our drawing for today, a megaphone. Well now that you know how to draw a megaphone, why not take some time and make one, and then use it to cheer on your favorite team.
Well, that's all for now. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. That's beautiful. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit.